finals number nine uh, and eight in a row, but we all know what this year's been like. So how gratifying is this uh, to get back, just given everything that you've been through? Um, to be honest, I haven't even really kind of processed it. Um, um, I mean, it's just a, it's a great atmosphere tonight to be a part of that. Um, you know, be a part of another game seven, you know, on the road, and um, you know, those are things. Like I said, when you're done playing a game, that you can only dream and wish that you could be a part of that once again. So, um, haven't really processed the fact that you know, going back to another finals yet. Um, I know that's where we're that's where we're headed. I commend my teammates and my coaching staff, and you know, and you know, everybody that put the work in. You know, even some of uh, you know, our staff that, you know, it's not, you know, in the limelight or work behind the scenes. Um, you know, this is a complete uh, team effort. Down front right. That's you. Uh, LeBron, uh, I thought the uh, 2012 game when you scored 48 against Boston was your signature game here. It was. Can you talk about where today fits against in your competition against a Boston? Um, I, I don't know. I just know it's, it's the present, and, and that's what I'm all about. I'm a guy who lives in the present. And, um, you know, for me, I just want to try to make plays, you know, tonight to help our ball club win, to put myself in position, put my teammates in position to, uh, you know, be, um, you know, be successful. And, um, you know, we was able to do that. Ron, that post-game moment over here to your left, that post-game moment you had with Al Horford, and particularly Jason Tatum, uh, can you put that into words, and was anything said between you guys? Um, there was a lot said, um, but more importantly, it's just the mutual respect and the competition. Um, you know, me and Al has, um, you know, we've had a lot of battles in the postseason and, you know, been on a, a lot of all-star teams together, so I've always had a lot of mutual respect for Al and the way he conduct himself, not only as a as a player but as a professional, both on and off the floor. So, um, you know, that was the moment there. Um, and then with um, with, with Jason, um, I just love everything about the kid, um, the way he plays the game, his demeanor, um, you know, where he come from. You know, I know his parents, um, and, and I just know he's. He's just built for, for stardom. He's built for success, and, then, um, and that's both on and off the floor. So, um, you know, two guys right there that, you know, Boston are very, very lucky to have them. Right side, Chris. LeBron, Chris Mannix with Yahoo. Um, I know you said you're still processing this finals trip, but the, the energy needed this season to get to this point, how would you compare it to other seasons where you've gotten to this point? Um, it's what been asked of me, and you know, I have to be able to um, just try to figure it out. Um, I don't know how I can compare it to other seasons because I can only think about this one in the present. Um, it was asked me tonight to play the whole game, and I just try to figure it out how I can get through it. You know, um, throughout timeouts, I was able to you know catch my breath at halftime. I didn't come out and warm up. Um, that was my time to recalibrate and catch my win again. Um, it's, been, it's what's been asking me from this ball club, and I'm the leader of this team, and I'm gonna give you know what I got, and um, you know my teammates they respect that. Left side, front, Dave. Dave McMenamin, ESPN. LeBron, you've said late in the regular season that this has felt like five seasons in one. You guys have been buried and resurrected, and buried and resurrected. Yeah. Uh, is there a lesson there uh, to be you know gleaned where you guys sit now? Uh, on the brink of the NBA Finals? Well, it's now six. It was five. Now it's six. It's now six seasons and one. And um, I guess this is the last chapter for our team in this season. Um, it's been a whirlwind. It's been, I mean, it's been Cedar Point. Um, sorry for you guys that don't know much about Cedar Point, but it's been a roller coaster. And um, it's been good. It's been bad. It's been, you know, it's been roses. It's been thorns in the roses. It's been everything that you can ask for. And, I always say this has been one of the most challenging seasons I've had, and um, but um, like I told you guys, you know, you guys are around us every day. Um, you know, right before the, the break, um, you know, right before the trade deadline, I kind of reset. Um, didn't know if we were going to make trades or not. Didn't know what we we're going to do with our team, but I kind of just reset my, my my mindset on saying, okay, this is the season, and, and let's try to make the most of it. And um, 
And that's what's got me to this point, gotten our team to this point. Second row middle. Le- LeBron, what does it say about Jeff Green, the way he rose to the occasion, both in game six and today? Um, his number was called, and um, he just answered the call. I mean, um, he's, I mean, it's amazing. Um, listen, at the end of the day, what he does on the basketball floor is extra credit. This guy had open heart surgery a few years ago, and the game was basically taken away from him. And they said it's possible that you never play the game of basketball again. So the fact that he can put on a uniform every night and, and, and do the things that he do out on the floor, you know, I don't care if he make a shot, you know, or he make big plays like tonight. Like for him personally, this is, I mean, it's all like, you know, it's just the cherry on top for him because he was the game was taken away from him. So for him to be able to just, you know, you know do what he did last game after Kev's injury and then obviously start tonight, um, you know, it was big time. Back row middle. Clevis Murray of The Athletic. Uh, LeBron, uh, Ty Lue said that negative Cavs news sells. Just curious how tiring and exhausting it is there. People constantly criticize your teammates over and over again. I mean, I don't know because I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't really hear it. Um, I don't really get involved in it. I mean, I kind of know the narrative, you know, throughout the season on, you know, if we lose, you know, if we have a bad month. I already know what's going to happen out in the outside world. I've been a part of it. Um, if we win, I know I know the narrative. I, I get it. I mean, it's all a part of the, the storyline. But, I mean, me personally, I don't really get involved in it. I'm kind of over that at this point in my career. So, um, but I think, you know, Coach Lou, he feeds off of it. Um, some of our teammates kind of feed off of it. I'm just trying to be, you know, people counting us out and, and counting them out personally. So, um, and I think tonight was another example of, you know, people counting our teammate out. I mean, counting my guys out. You know, saying that they've been struggling and they won't play well on the road and whatever the case may be and count my coach out. And um, I think they all rose to the occasion. Jason. Kind of along the theme of what we've been talking about, there were some really bad losses this year and some bad moments in team meetings and everything else. Was there ever a moment when you lose hope that this is not salvageable? And how do you not, if you don't, how do you, how do you keep the faith and keep the hope that you can pull us back together? Um, I mean, if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> that was a good question. You tried to get me there, right? That's right. Brian. Uh, Brian Mahoney, Associated Press. <clears throat> LeBron, in, in a few days, you're going to be playing you know, one team that's really, really good. People are going to say you guys are the underdogs. Um, what gives you the confidence that you can get this done this year? I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, the game is won in between the lines, and uh, we have an opportunity to compete for a championship. So. I mean, that's all that matters. No matter, you know, what the storyline is going to be, no matter, you know, if we're picked to win or not, I mean, let's just go out and play ball. You know, we're going to have a great um, have a great game plan. We're going to try to get better throughout the series and see what happens. So, um, you know, for me, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of like the wrong guy to ask because I just like to compete. I have a love for the game. I have a passion for the game. And, um, you know, everything else to take care of yourself. Jeff. Jeff Zilg at USA Today, Le- LeBron at 35-23. What let you know, even though shots weren't falling for you and your teammates, that it, it was possible to get back in it and-, and win the game? I think defensively we were just um, very, very sharp. Um, very, very sharp. And uh, we were flying around, we were moving around, and it continued to just keep us um, into the game. Um, you know, so... Um, even with some of the plays that we made in the first half where we weren't knocking down shots, I always just kept my confidence in my teammates and know that you know, if I had the same opportunity in the second half, they were going to knock them down, and they, and they did just that. Last one, Steve. With this, with this streak, um, you've had a conference full of rivals that have been trying to catch and pass you and your teams. Um, is there a cumulative satisfaction to knowing that whoever it is, however long they've tried, none of them has done it yet? Um, I mean, it's been a satisfaction on the fact that, you know, I like to be successful. And, um, but more importantly, just the work that I put into it. Um, I mean, it's every, every single day um, work ethic that I have um, while I'm playing this game, while I have the ability to play this game at this level. Um, I, I, I love the competition, and, and I think about the teams that I've played over this run and, and the players that I've played over this run um, slightly. Um, but more importantly, me just being healthy. I've been healthy, um, you know, throughout this run, and and um, you know, I put a lot of work into my body, into my craft, and 
um, being available to my teammates and being available to my friend, the two franchises that I've been with and throughout this run is what's um, been more important to me than anything. Um, you know, always being available. So um, I'll be available for uh, for at least four more games, and, um, and we'll see what happens. Thanks, LeBron.